we're about to make a huge mess. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three. That might be good. Ooh! Today we are back in the studio and we are going to freeze motion with flash. We'll show you how we do it. Alright, set up today, um, we're going to use various things. We're going to be spilling water, dropping balls in water, something that makes stuff. We're going to try to catch motion and freeze it um, with the flash. Um, you can do this outside if you want to, but your scene has to be bright enough. You'll need to crank your shutter speed to at least one one thousandth, probably one two thousandth of a second. So you're going to need a really bright scene. Um, you can also do it with flash because the intensity of the flash, the duration happens so fast that that burst of light freezes whatever motion is going on into the camera because the flash duration is only like one ten thousandth of a second so it freezes whatever it sees and then it records to the camera okay as far as the setup today we have um, just two Tupperware Rubbermaid containers whatever um, covered in a black cloth uh, I have a black background because I wanted whatever's going to be on here to be the main focus I didn't want to if you have a white background in this glass of water, it tends to um, get lost in the background because the white background will be really bright. So I want everything to be dark except for what's lit up here. I got flashes, my strobes on either side, directly across and slightly shining down. Um, I don't want it to be directly shining here because I don't want to get any reflections or I don't want to see you know, reflections of the light on the glass. It'll be okay if I have water splashing to have the specular highlights from that. Um, that's why you don't want the lights to be in the front because it would then create a reflection in a real hot spot off that glass. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a mess. We're gonna splash uh, some stuff you know, in there and try to take some pictures of it. Uh, we're going to drop this little ball in it. We're just going to experiment with um, different things to try to freeze the motion and see if we can get any cool pictures. So we're going to go at it. Okay, as far as settings of everything, um, the flash, both flashes are set at one quarter, one fourth power. Um, my camera, I've got the 24 to 105. Again, it's my normal. Um, Studio settings, we're at 1 one sixtieth of a second shutter speed. ISO is 100, aperture is, we're at F9. Um, I recommend these things you'll need for something like this. You're gonna need your camera on a tripod. Um, I recommend you have a remote trigger because you want everything to be as still as possible. And with the trigger, you're not pressing your shutter button and maybe slightly shaking your camera because every little bit of shake will be can be recorded so you can do it without this you just have to be really careful when you press the shutter button but you will need a tripod because you want everything to be as still and as stationary as you can say for the motion that we're trying to capture never ready i, I wish i could have made it stop the first time that you stood me up i wasn't ready yeah, never ready Like a forbidden fruit I'm still craving for I'm still wanting
Alright, give me the ball. No, the other ball. In, the in stringy ball. Oh, the ball. stringy ball, okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, give me the green one. We're going to want to hold them here. First test, we're going to bounce this little stringy ball thing. Um, we're going to take a bunch of different pictures. And it's something that's going to take, you know, you're going to take 20 pictures to get, here's the green to get one good one because, you know, they have sensors that like, you know, on the sound or on a click, like it could hear that thud and then it would fire, but those are expensive. We don't have those and none of you guys watching is gonna have that. So we're just gonna try to time it the best we can with hitting the shutter with this. So, you know, we'll probably get one good shot out of 20, but it's part of the fun of seeing what you get. So. Haley's going to draw, she's going to step over here to be mostly out of frame. I'll have to crop some of her out. And then we're, she's going to just draw them. And then we'll take pictures and we'll see what we get with that. That's our shoot. Um, we did the little ball ribbon dropping, uh, the splash, the ball splashing into the water, a couple water pours, uh, some eggs. They only did like three tries to eggs because they didn't want to waste a whole bunch of eggs. Um, We're going to have scrambled eggs later. Yes. And then the last one we decided, I just thought of a uh, candle. And you know, we let it blew it out to try to get some of those little smoke curly cues. So we'll see how everything turns out, and I will post them right now. See ya. You go. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit oh, that like. Oh, you messed it up. Oh, shut up! You're the one who messed it up. One more thing before you go. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want, hit that share too.